Hi there, this is Andrea Maury of Drea Renee Knits, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do my favorite cast on for toe up socks. This is the Turkish cast on. I use it in both my fluorite socks that were in the winter issue of Pom Pom Magazine and in my new sock pattern coming out this Wednesday um, called Tuku Honey. So we're going to start with a slip knot, and you're going to want to use a circular needle for this cast on because we're basically going to be working in magic loop. I prefer at least a 32 inch cord. That tends to be my go-to for magic loop sock knitting. I just find that's what I'm most comfortable on. Um, you can definitely use longer or shorter if you like that. It just gets a little harder to work with. So we're going to hold our needle tips parallel to each other and we're going to put our slip knot onto our top needle. And then to begin this cast on, we're going to use our working yarn to wrap around both of our needles half as many times as stitches that we need. So if I was casting on a 24 stitch sock, I would wrap my yarn around my needles 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now securing that yarn in my left hand, I'm going to rotate my needles so that they are now pointing to the right here. So I rotated 180 degrees and now I'm going to slip my bottom needle out so that I can knit across on my top needle through all 12 loops. I'll show this first pass, continental left-handed picker style. Um, doesn't matter what way you knit, you're really just knitting across them, but I'll demonstrate English style after this. So you just insert your needle and knit across. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, now I'm going to pull my bottom needle back in. and I'm ready to rotate 180 degrees back. So again, my needles are pointing to the right. And now I'm going to knit across the top again. This time I'll show it right-handed English thrower style. Again, make sure you use the working side of your yarn, not your tail. I'm sure we've all done that before. All right, so I pull out my bottom needle and you're gonna notice that the very first stitch on here is actually your slip knot, and you can just drop that right off because we don't need it anymore. It was just acting as an anchor for us as we set up our cast on. So I'm going to knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There we go. So we have just done the foundation of that cast on. To complete it, we're actually going to knit across each needle again. So you bring that bottom needle back in and rotate to the right so it's now on top and we can knit across and around once more and then you'll be ready to jump into your pattern. I'll show continental one more time. And if you can do this, then you can do magic loop because that's really what we're doing right here is we're already working in magic loop. If you love magic loop, this is a great cast on because now you're all set up and ready to go 
really my favorite toe up sock way to get started. It makes a, makes a really beautiful, seamless toe. And so I'm just knitting across. And then for my final one, again, I pull that bottom needle back in, rotate so that they're pointing to the right again, and then I'm just going to knit across once more. I'll show English style one last time. And once I'm done with this round, you can kind of start to see our little toe form. So I'll show you a little close-up of that. All right, here we go. I'm just pulling it onto the cord so it's easy to see. So you can actually see there is our sweet little beginnings of our toe. And now you're ready to follow your pattern as written and knit up a super cozy pair of socks for your handmade wardrobe. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Happy knitting!